Franz Reichelt was a French tailor, inventor, and parachuting pioneer who jumped from the Eiffel Tower to test a parachute he designed himself. The Austrian-born bachelor lived in Paris, France in the early 1900s and earned his living making designer dresses. Stories of fatalities among early aviators inspired him to design a parachute. In fact, he ended up dedicating all of his spare time to tailoring a suit that would convert into a parachute for aviators of the newly invented airplane models infamous for their deadly accidents. Fixed canopy parachutes, meaning they were already open before beginning a jump, and frameless parachutes for high altitudes had already been successfully used. But by 1910, there was still no successful parachute for low altitude jumps, similar to what is now known as base jumping. Reichelt's early tests using dummies equipped with foldable silk wings were promising, but converting that into a wearable suit proved difficult. The leading aeronautic organization at the time rejected his design for testing on the grounds that the canopy was too weak. Their attempts to dissuade him from pursuing it alone failed, and he continued to conduct unsuccessful drops using dummies from the fifth floor of his apartment. In 1911, the Aero Club de France announced a prize of 10,000 francs for a foolproof safety design. That only spurred him further. He became convinced that his invention needed a higher test platform, and he repeatedly petitioned for permission to perform a dummy test from the Eiffel Tower. The Parisian Prefecture of Police finally granted the request in early 1912. Reichelt issued a press release promoting the demonstration. He and two friends arrived early on the freezing morning of February 4, 1912, and shocked police and spectators by announcing he was going to perform the experiment personally, instead of with a test dummy. He stated, I want to try the experiment myself and without trickery, as I intend to prove the worth of my invention. The inventor ignored his friends who pleaded with him to reconsider. With cameras rolling, the press watched from below. Wearing his 20-pound suit, he balanced shakily on a stool placed on top of a table for 40 seconds, and then leapt from the first stage of the Eiffel Tower. His parachute gave way almost instantly to his weight, and he plummeted within seconds into the frozen ground below. The impact left a hole in the cement. His right leg and arm were crushed, his skull and spine were broken, and he was bleeding from his mouth, nose, and ears. He was already dead by the time the panicked spectators rushed to the site of his landing. After Reichelt's death, the authorities understandably restricted further experiments from the Eiffel Tower, only granting permissions for dummy drops. Even experiment requests not involving the tower came under heightened scrutiny. But what makes Reichelt's experiment all the more heartbreaking is that another inventor was in the process of testing his own similar design across the Atlantic Ocean at nearly the exact same time, but with far greater success. Two days before Reichelt's fatal leap of faith on February 2, 1912, American Frederick R. Law successfully parachuted from the torch of the Statue of Liberty, apparently on a whim. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more of history's weirdness that you won't find in your textbooks. All those textbooks that you had to give back. No one has their textbooks anymore, right? I don't have mine. Anyway, there's this video here. There's this one here. There's more stuff here. There's more good stuff. If you liked it, stick around.